The resignation of Claudine Gay as president of Harvard University marks the culmination of a conservative war on higher education. Long fought on campuses and in statehouses but this time triggered by hard questions from Republicans in Washington and their allies. The fallout raised numerous questions, including how the GOP might continue to pressure universities, which they charge are overwhelmingly liberal, intolerant of conservative views, and overly concerned with questions of race and identity. A reckoning is coming to higher education, said Rep. Elise Stefanik, R.N. Why? whose questioning during a congressional hearing led to the resignations of the president of the University of Pennsylvania and then, on Tuesday, gay. This is just the beginning of exposing the rot in our most prestigious, higher education institutions. Many worried about meddling by lawmakers in academic freedom and the affairs of universities. Like her critics, Gay, who in July became Harvard's first black president, saw the attacks as part of a larger war over culture and the role of universities in American life. The campaign against me was about more than one university and one leader. This was merely a single skirmish in a broader war to unravel public faith in pillars of American society, she wrote in an essay published Wednesday in the New York Times. She also offered a plea. College campuses in our country must remain places where students can learn, share and grow together, not spaces where proxy battles and political grandstanding take root. The downfall of gay was tied to multiple controversies. Amid sharp debate over Israel's war in Gaza and rising anti-Semitism on college campuses, gay and other college leaders appeared before Congress, where they declined to state plainly that a call for genocide against Jews would violate their university's codes of conduct. Then came allegations of plagiarism against gay, which were publicized by conservative activists. Underlying the swirling controversies was an ongoing and deepening divide between higher education and conservatives. In 2015, Gallup polling found 56% of Republicans had a great deal, or quite a lot, of confidence in higher education. By 2023, that had fallen to 19%. Confidence fell among Democrats, too, but far less dramatically from 68% to 59%. Meanwhile, voters increasingly are sorting themselves into parties based on education, with college-educated voters growing increasingly democratic. A 2023 Pew Research Center survey found 55% of college graduates leaned Democratic versus 41% who leaned Republican. The loyalties were reversed among non-college graduates particularly those who are white. Republican identification was 47% among all adults who did not graduate from college. And it was 61% among non-college whites, about double the share for Democrats.